Fire away. Come out healthy. You know, you, you want to see them perform on a big stage, but the, the big thing in the back of my mind is that they come out in healthy. Everything we do around here, we, we're competitive. Everything we do, we're going to compete. So it's going to be competitive. It's up to Frost. I, I really don't know how they how they really do it around here, but it's up whatever Frost wants, you know. So I don't really know the format. He'll let you guys know. How, how's the passing game look? Do you feel like so far in camp, and, and you know what would be uh, a positive thing on Saturday for us, for fans and the media to see? What do you want to see from it Saturday? We, we want to see it crisp. You know, we want to see it. You know, the timing. You know, but it's 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 like I said before. It's hard when you when you're playing with four or five quarterbacks and you're playing with. 10 to 12 receivers, so the timing might not be there all the time, but you want to see the best timing that we can get on Saturday, you know, that's what we're looking for. How, how, you know, on a scale of 1 to 10, how much better is that time? Well, you know, it's gotten better. It's gotten better from the first walkthrough, and we were just talking about it this morning, Whip and I, that it's gotten better from the first day of walkthrough to now, just detailing route concepts and detailing the routes within the concept. Omar? Uh, Oliver. 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 Oliver is a kid that, you know, that um, he, 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 he didn't have a lot of confidence in himself. And, and I always talk to him about believing more in himself because he's a really good player. He's a really good player. And he showed a lot of explosiveness in, in this spring that he can run by people. And he's got really good hands. And he's a really high football IQ guy. So I'm excited to see what's going to happen with him in the summer and to fall camp. Yes, yeah, so he started in the slot, and um, he picked that up, and then we moved him back out to X, and that, that's really helped him. So we, we think his natural position is going to be X, but the best thing about it, he proved that he can learn two positions. So he learned R, then he went to X, and he's been fine. What would be your report card on Trey What do you like about going through this Well, just the transition what Trey has, has been through from Louisiana to Nebraska, because I've been through that transition. You know, from Louisiana to Nebraska. Right now, I'm going to give him a B because he's really doing a great, a great job of transitioning from Louisiana to Nebraska. The way we practice at Nebraska, uh, LSU, the way we practice it now. But he's really coming out with energy. He's playing hard every snap, and he's doing his best to make help this team win. I think he's I think he's catching the ball much better than I had him before. I think he's using his hands a lot better and then, and on the deep balls he's really good at that right now. Why is it a B not A Because we talk about a finish line. I think when you get an A kids kinda of say, Oh, that's the finish line, everything's done. So I wanna to continue to make him chase. So we talk about a finish line in our room and it's not it's not a finish line. The finish line will be in January. I think they all have. I think they all have seen, you know, the way that he works, that he don't mind working and how hard he practices, how hard he finishes, and the things that he do, you know, on the field when he's on the field, that he finishes runs. So I think a lot of kids take after that. Yeah, we visit with Xavier right now. He just he's not on the team right now, but we visit with Xavier and we're gonna visit that again down down the road. You know, like I say, it's gonna be Frost's decision about what he wants to do with him. But you know, my thing is with Xavier, Xavier's gonna all be a part of me, you know, and then part of this program. But um like I said, we'll we'll deal with that down the line. You know, we we tell him like this. If you're here or not, they're not gonna they're gonna kick the ball off. If Coach Mickey's not here, they're not gonna say, Okay, let's let's postpone the game until I'm ready. No. We got to have people, the guys in the building. That's who we're going to play with. We moved Omar over there. We moved Omar to X, and we move we move um, Alante to Samar, and we also have White that's doing a really good job. And then we just moved Brody up, you know, with Trey. So we're fine.
Yeah, I, I think um, Ty Hines. Ty Hines had a really, a really good spring. You know, not just in the receiver room. He has a really good spring on special teams. And that's part that's going to get you on the plane is that you can that you can go in special teams. So he's really a surprise because he's really a kid that really just works. He just works and, and he plays hard. He plays 100% every snaps and he gives you his all. So he, he's the kid that I thought, a young kid that made a leap. I think they all can. I think they they, they got to have want to, you know. They got to want to do it, you know. And they will do it, I mean, because that's what we preach in our room that we're going to play special teams. Oh yeah, I, I you know what? I didn't even think about that. You know, I, I think it's gonna it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a little weird, you know. You know, walking back in there after probably what thirty years. But I think once the, once the ball kick off, the focus will get um, towards the game. But you're going to appreciate being back. You know, you appreciate being back in Lincoln. Every day that you're here, you appreciate it. So I think just going in there is going to be a little different. But um, I'll be fine. You talk about uh, obviously knowing Casey Thompson and his dad a little bit as that recruiting process was happening. What have you seen from him? You know, he's been up, up close and personal with him now for, for five weeks of spring ball. How has he sort of taken control? Yeah, I, I think with Casey, Casey's, a, you know, the same way. He's, you know, he's he had to transition, you know, from Austin, Texas to Nebraska. And I think he's doing a really good job. And I think he's he's getting to the point where he's he's learning who he's throwing the ball to. He's seeing it. He's seeing it better right now. And I think that, um, you know, we all got to have a good summer on the offense side of the ball. We all got to have a good summer. And I think the summer is going to be big for Casey with the receivers. Probably the last game I played here. <laughs> no. Yeah, last time I played. Yeah. Then I started coaching, so I really couldn't come back. But it's been a long. It's been a long time. I I think it was the my senior year at Oklahoma game. I think Oklahoma was the last game my senior year. Um, no, my senior year we played him here. First thing we first thing we got to make sure that he's, he's in tip top shape. That we got to make sure he starts running and gets more running in because he's behind with that. But he's a high football IQ kid coming out of New Mexico State. So I'm not worried about the mental part. I'm worried about the physical part, getting on the field, running around, and catching the ball. He's going to know what to do because he's a high football IQ kid. But my thing is making sure he's in shape, making sure he's running around, make sure he's catching the ball. Is he a guy who can play multiple spots too, or do you have to? Absolutely, he can be outside or inside. No, have it. Like I say, it's no finish line. We've got to, we got to have a big summer ahead of us. We've got a lot of work to do. And they understand that. I understand that. You know, because you, you, can't, you can't say, hey, it's spring football. You know, I, I love the spring game. I really do. But at the end of the day, they're not going to count that spring game in October. You know, they're going to start counting when we play Northwestern. So we got to have a really – after this spring game, we put this to rest. we got to have a really good summer. We talked about that, about having a great summer for us just working and still getting to know each other now. They're still filling me out. I'm still filling them out, getting to know my players. But I think that this summer is going to be really, really important for us. I told him he needs to have a lot of Tony Sastries and put it on his food because that's the only problem that he has right now is the food, that the food's not spicy enough for him. So I told him to get you some Tony Sastries, but he's got to eat because that's one thing. He's a picky eater, and um, I know that. <laughs> so he would eat canes every day or he eat panda, panda bear, some panda thing he eats. I don't even know what it is, Panda Express, but he, he eats that a lot. But, you know, that's that's with, with, with Trey and letting him know that this, this you know, this is a really a real football state. You don't really the only show in town, and and all eyes will be on you everywhere you go. And he's understanding that, and he's been really good about that because he's not a kid that hangs out a lot. He's a home homebody, you know. He's probably he's here or he's at his apartment. I know my mom will be here tomorrow. She'll be cooking them tomorrow also. <laughs> Thank y'all. All right.